Okay, so starting the road trip of around 1600 kilometers to and fro, we are going to my hometown called Gandhidam from here in Mumbai. It It's going to take around 12, 13 hours, maybe more, depending on how much we stop. And let's start. First thing I'd like to share is on a trip like this, I would prefer a manual over an automatic for sure. I am a fan of manuals way more than automatic, so out of all the cars that you see here, I'd probably choose the Civic the most for this road trip. But the EcoSport automatic is what we have and we'll make use of the paddle shifters. It'll be a test of the suspension of the EcoSport as well because the car is filled to the brim. The rear seat is full, the boot is full, a lot of heavy items in the car. That's one of the benefits of an SUV. Uh, if I had any of my sedans on this uh, trip, I would have to worry too much about the ground clearance. The weather in Mumbai is amazing right now and I expect a lot of rains on the way. I feel driving in the rain at night is the best type of drive for me. It's the most challenging, it's the most exciting and there's a sense of calm and that sense of security that only a car can provide. So looking forward to that. It's around 4 a.m. 4 p.m. right now. So our ETA is around 6 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. This is the best stretch of road in the entire drive. There's this guard section that comes right after the toll. Apex aligns to the sort of roads you'll see soon. There's a certain joy to spinning a naturally aspirated petrol engine. Very few turbo engines have a really strong top end. But naturally aspirated engines, especially the ones which are tuned as well as this, the Ford 1.5 Dragon or the Honda City IB Tech, these engines are amazing to rev. Third gear, 4000 RPM. 4000 is where the engine changes its character completely. Goes all the way up to 6500 RPM. These sort of roads is why you buy an EcoSport. Heartbreaking even during tight turns like these, the car remains stable, planted, the rear end very stable. That's the difference like in my XUV review, if you see, you push the XUV so hard and it's not able to deliver. The EcoSport is so much more stable, so much planted. We've stopped here by the side of this road to have some food. Now you might ask like we could have had this food at home and come, but the joy of stopping by the road next to this amazing green place and then eating, that's something else. So yeah, we'll continue after having some food. leaving like early in the morning uh, on Saturdays or Sundays and you would see a lot of super bikes on the road to Ahura a lot of them stop here in fact like if you reach by 7 or 8 you can see at least 10-15 super bikes standing here at the Ahura Daba 
so it's a popular destination with a lot of uh, riders crossing out of maharashtra this is the maharashtra check post have stopped for fuel right now but as of now like almost half the tank was driven in the city and around one fourth on the highway and the current fuel economy is 9.3 kilometers a liter yeah redlining has its impact on fuel efficiency Every other car I could see was a Creta. So maybe this fan following is what has led to this guy writing Jo Baka Creta Returns. By the way, this is the second time that we are seeing this bus uh, Creta Returns. So maybe he's right. Creta does return back. We are between. Ankleshwar and Bharuj right now uh, around 100 kilometers I guess from Baroda which is our halfway point passing this is one of the most beautiful bridges on this road it's around 10.30 now uh, we'll stop at around 11, 11.15 for dinner by the way, this stretch has the best dhabas ever. Like anything you want, you would get in a dhaba here from your big fast food joints to proper North Indian food, South Indian, whatever you want. Big chains. If you're a sort of person who associates road trips closely with food, this is the road to be on. A place that where we had stopped right now, uh, I think a few hours back, they had a place that was selling wood-fired pizzas. Imagine, wood-fired pizzas in the middle of the highway. We have covered 325 kilometers in seven hours. Wow, that's bad. A little bit is due to the traffic, uh, also leaving Mumbai a little bit late when there was a lot of traffic, but this is very slow. We've stopped too many times. We have to do four, 450, 460 kilometers in the next six, seven hours. I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, right now the EcoSport is doing 15.6 kilometers a liter, which is decent. Uh, for a 1.5 liter petrol which is being driven decently hard it's no you can't compare it to a diesel but for a petrol automatic this is good 
been 20 minutes already sitting in this jam we haven't done even 2 kilometers in these 20 minutes few things i noticed one is this bus driver in front of us chose a windows vista sign on this on his bus you can't expect to go fast when you are a fan of windows vista been able to get into the outermost lane I'll use the SUV credentials of the Echo Sport now see how further we can get this is a big one this is the reason this turns into a single lane here on this bridge that's why there is a huge traffic jam four lanes converging into a single lane that's the reason we are on the Vadodara Andhavad expressway now famed to be one of the first expressways in India and I'd say like compared to the other expressways it's much better even in this day and age it's still pretty quick the only thing is it's four lane and not six lane and that poses an issue sometimes when the traffic is too much but right now especially at night great to cover long distances fast flashing cars to overtake them i think mark bmw audis next level the joy of flashing in those cars something else They have a lot of lag, like these lights, halogens. Uh, and even if not lag, they don't look cool. BMWs and Mercs, amazing, amazing. When you change the gear of the EcoSport, and you use the paddle shifters, and it moves to the next gear, the feeling is that of... Have you, have you felt it like in a diesel locomotive? Uh, when the engine driver moves to a higher power this thing there's a small small gap in power because of which the entire train you know uh, there is tension between the engine and the coaches all of that tension is released and then all of that tension comes back once again so it's it's that feeling feels like a locomotive that jerk it doesn't pull like a train to be honest that's the Ford Endeavor we are on the Ahmedabad bypass right now I'd lost my GoPro battery and just had to charge it a little bit during my stop at Ahmedabad I've done just that and now we are crossing Ahmedabad 300 kilometers from here the ETA according to Google is 8.30 I don't think it should take that long unless we stop too much half a tank of fuel now and the range that it's showing right now is 232 kilometers this the actual range will be even lower so i'll have to fill up for sure I'm seeing a bp petrol bunk Let's see if i can fill up there fill the car up showing a range of 483 kilometers my energy now on driving and not logging so I'll continue maybe 50 60 kilometers down the road I think
think I'll have to stop at some point and rest. I don't think driving all to 60, 250 kilometers in one stretch is advisable. So maybe I'll take a nap of half an hour, one hour and then continue. Taking a short break here, just to walk around a little bit and use the washroom. The car is a little bit dirty because of the rain in Mumbai. But wow, okay. very the experience of driving has been really good this time. Very calm, very peaceful, amazing drive. We had started at 5 uh, last evening and it's already 5.30 so we've crossed our 12, 12 and a half hour mark. Right now I am, this is the place I want to stop at Malia, 28 kilometers from there. I'm planning to take a nap for some time there and then continue the journey. Situations like these you appreciate an SUV, you do not have the mental bandwidth to take into account every bump, every uneven piece of road and the EcoSport is doing a lot of heavy lifting right now for me. Big checkpoint coming. It's 6.30 a.m. We've stopped, uh, I've slept for half an hour, still feeling a little bit sleepy. So I'll sleep a little bit more, but as you can see, it's bright and sunny now. But yeah, I need some more sleep before I can drive. kilometers of six lane but smooth road from here 50 kilometers my bad not 60 50 kilometers of smooth six lane roads from here should be home in no time this is the last flyover and then we'll be in Gandhidam our destination for this journey Thanks for watching, have a nice day ahead.